and welcome everybody here in twitch chat and everybody on youtube for some spooky quinn this is a brand new deck this one looks a little bit different um, we're going to be using the, that challenger mechanic quite a bit here with a shadow isles demacia deck so we have a blighted caretaker that gets to make some saplings for us we have maokai that of course is making saplings laurent chevalier gets to strike and then create another challenger for us Quinn, of course, makes, uh, creates a Valor to be able to use the challenge. Um, and, you know, like that's that's what we got going on. So that should be a lot of things dying because it's a lot of small challengers also. And we even have, like, Mark of the Isles that can make them larger. So we're kind of just uh, suiciding in our challengers kind of thing. And we get rewarded for that with Neverglade Collector. So we'll have a lot of these allies just keep dying. And we're draining our the uh, enemy nexus while we're doing it we also have like the fading memories in here which which works really well with like the saplings um where we can create you know an ephemeral cop copy of the sapling in hand um because it's going to just die anyway right and so we can uh create those saplings um also kind of good with uh valor right like we can just create like an ephemeral valor if we want an, an additional scout attack um like the next turn also great with Laurent Chevalier, you know, again, just, just, uh, we're attacking in with the Chevalier and it's going to die anyway. And then we just get a new challenger. It replaced itself. So fading memories, that's a pretty interesting card to have in this kind of deck too. Uh, the hapless aristocrats are basically going to be on defense again, just dying and, and also good with the blighted caretaker. Um, yeah, this is certainly looking like a, a kamikaze kind of deck, a bunch of vile feasts, a bunch of withering whales, I'm, I'm not very big on Vile Feast or Withering Whale these days. Just one damage, not killing a lot of stuff. We'll see how that goes. Um, that's that's something that I'm a little skeptical with the deck. But it does mean that like our our like two damage challengers and three damage challengers can you know um, challenge things that are a little bit bigger, and then Withering Whale and Vile Feast can finish them off. So we also have that uh, three Vengeance. Do like that card. One Ruination at the top end. So it'll be interesting to try out. So here we go. We're going to have Spooky Quinn. This is a pretty interesting donation deck here. Yeah, go with single combats and Glimpse Beyond. So, like, you do have, like, some stuff to use in response to their removal. <clears throat> Found another Maokai list, a Swain Elise Maokai. We're going to... Get rid of all three spells for now. I'm a little worried that we don't have large enough things for the single combat. But I don't know. I think this is going to be an all-star in our deck. But basically, I could see playing, like, Swiftwing Lancer. Maybe, like, instead of, like, Withering Whale, I could see, like, Swiftwing Lancer being good for us. Um, you know, Genevieve Elmhart, like, that kind of stuff. I'll just get the trading in, start leveling up our Maokai. <laughs> they got the same swoon emote. Okay, you made a spooky Vladimir deck with the Undying. Still working on it. Nice. Sounds very interesting. So the problem is I have nothing to do this turn. Alright, they have something to do. Something's Please? better than nothing. Where are you? Usually. No, 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 no. Now... What are we leading with? Chevalier? Leading with Maokai? Gentlemen, ladies, shall we? I am the rose. You are the top. Lucky you. Where is cool. Try to create another challenger. Ooh, that's a good one. That's a good one too. Try 
I create another challenger. We have these two really good four drops, a couple really good five drops. It's just do we have time to unload our hand and get all these things out there? Another day in paradise. The eyes will bloom again. Kind of weird how we got a very similar deck paired against a very similar deck. We Demacians are no easy play. Stay on the target. I want to start leveling up the Quinn. Video should be, there should not be a video uploading now. Um, uh, maybe, maybe a decent amount of attacks. I mark the aisles that. Will this will this create a four three sapling or a two one sapling? I'm not sure. I'll just wait on it. Two one. Maybe I should play it. I could just wait. We're gonna be making more saplings with Maokai anyway. We don't have to let our opponent know that we have this in hand. We can just wait. I pull the strings. If it was like a 4 3 that we're going to be creating, then I'm more interested. Lovely day for a battle. You accepted what became of us. What was I supposed to do? Neverglade Collector fight. Skitter out from the darkness. So young. A tribute to the Spider God. I should heal that thing, so yeah, so it goes back to being a 2-4, so it's not damaged anymore. So this Ravenous Feast doesn't do anything. Sorry, Ravenous Flock. Let me change into something more. Come yeah, what do we get? We got rid of two Vengeances, two Vengi, and a Hapless Aristocrat.
Patience makes perfect. Does it? The problem with this attack is the problem with that um, is that now I don't have I can't attack twice next turn. Break their spirits and their swords. Problem with that. Considering fleeting memories, the sapling. Oh no, because the sapling will be a unit. It won't be a spell. I, I won't be able to use spell mana on it. Blade Collector. Mm. Yeah, I was planning on going protege on the collector and, and that one on there and, and having one health on, on both of those and having Wither and Whale clean up everything. That was the plan. Plans can go awry. The other two withering whales. Alright, so Maokai is. I just don't have, like, room. Maokai's at 20. Yeah, did lose a lot of vengeances. Hey, Arkanoid. Hello, hello. Empire above all. Surrender. We're playing a pretty interesting game. Die, condescending Noxian. Three attacks for Quinn. Dark in the sky! 
such little life. Kind of forgot about that. <laughs> oh, that's gonna be bad. The Swain trigger. That's gonna be bad. Um. I'll close my eyes. Make it fair. I'm going to six. The question is, do I keep, do I create another Laurent Chevalier, or do I wait and create another Neverglade Collector? It's probably the other Neverglade Collector. Yeah, the, the Swain should be attacking first. We kind of got that free two damage in. I mean, I can kill him right now. Maybe, maybe I try that. Order, sir. Bring forth our army. gonna work should work right I don't know is this only gonna be three is this gonna just die first and then it'll only be I me mean, I should have played I need to play this card before Neverglade I guess that egg. Did it move? should still be just be fine wait no it won't that's just gonna be three. Oh, now these are all gonna be stunned why did I play this aristocrat what am I doing yeah, why did, why did I play that? Just give me little lies. Yay! Everyone's a garden. Alright, so I need to play the silver wing. I think I need to play that first. Great. Now let's oh, get back out there. Learning how cards work. It's always interesting. Always fun. That's what it's all about. We're learning together. Yeah, you know, like these are not not normal game situations. Yeah, but when you're playing Spooky Quinn, they show up. That was a fun game. That was a fun, interesting back and forth Neverglade Collector mirror match. Now they got Spooky Lux, Spooky Mage Seekers. You think all the ephemerals died at the same time, so it didn't matter which order we had them in. That is quite reasonable and fairly likely. So, Thresh, Lux, both of those big meanies. We're going to keep Vengeance for them. Darn. Speeds up their deck quite a bit. Oh no. Not the 5 4. Mm. 5 4 real good against Maokai. Slow down, will you? Here we go. Okay, so we'll have Vengeance and Ruination.
I would love them just to play Lux right here. That would be great. Just play Lux. All right, well, we got a Vengeance. Because their Thresh is at 5 out of 6. If this happens, Thresh levels up. All right, well, Thresh will still be leveled up for future turns now. But we did get rid of the 3-4 also. Hopefully they don't have any future Threshes in hand. That would been great if they would have just played Lux and we were able to... Uh, let's see, next turn, 7. Basically, am I ca casting Arist Hapless Aristocrat? 7 mana... Um, What's that noise? And great if we could have uh, ruination to weigh everything. That egg? Did it move? No, 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 no! Please, I have connections! A little bit of wrong sequencing, but fine. So basically, I'm priced into casting Ruination now. Like, they'll bring Lux into play. I just block cast ruination. Now they still they have those seven cards left, and Give them a chance. Um, you know all this mana. Oh. Good news, it's three champions down at least, two threshes and one Lux. That's the good news. Dealing with seven cards, not very easy. Alright, bad news. I can Fading Memories there, Rekindler. But I'm just not ready to cast Rekindler right now. So I just don't need to do that right now. Virtue guides me. Soldiers, to me! That was the elite the Swiftwing Lancer created? That's not bad. You will be scoured from this land! It's not bad. And yes, we're very dead. They had a great hand. GG's. Lady Elise, where are you? Discipline and steel. Is that 14 out of 25?
killing Lux, am I? Not really. How fast can we level up our Maokai? That's the question. Not likely fast enough. They will pay for what they did to you. All that matters now is the little ones. <laughs> Eighteen, Maokai's gonna die and be nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. Oh, they kill that thing. That's better for me, I think. So I have to like somehow cheese out. Um Somehow, like, cheese out a Maokai level up and put them down to four cards, and then maybe they run out of cards. It's, this is, like, the only line that I'm seeing that can uh, maybe do something. But they're saplings! Yeah, they had, I mean, yeah, they had a great start there with Remembrance, Grizzled Ranger, before I had anything. My my hand was so bad. <laughs> I didn't do anything the first four turns, didn't play a single thing in four turns. That is not good. Strength in grace, beauty in the blade. Yeah, Mike, I think it is. What? They're just using that to heal? Oh, I guess they're using that to heal and get a final spark, right? Final spark. Hey! Doctor in house with the Twitch Prime sub. Thank you so much. A beacon through the dark! I appreciate that. Our second sub of the day. Thanks for that support. All right, very impressive. Good job, opponent. Good job. So we see how Blighted Caretaker, we kind of need the things before Blighted Caretaker, but we don't really have hardly anything before. We just have Hapless Aristocrat, especially if they're not playing anything for Vile Feast. Tumble dog, that's your fault. This is your fault. Tumble dog says, "Oh, I'm so glad we're not just playing Ash Sejuani." And now we have to face Ash Sejuani. Yay! You can't jinx anything like that. You can't say, you know, like whatever. <laughs> it just always happens, right? When you're like, "Oh man," I opponent's gonna have this Fury of the North, you know, or I hope they don't have this Fury of the North, they'll, they'll kill us, and they just do. I'm kind of waiting on this file Feast because of the 5-1 Challenger, right? Like, I don't really want to use Val Feast on the Omen Hawk, the 5-1 Challenger being a big card. Leave your bags at the door. Alright, maybe I do have to use this with a... Uh, I do have backup Maokai against 
that challenger. Faster than my arrow? I think not. The blessed isles live through me. This one's on the house. I have no idea why Ash is not attacking. It's literally none. Deck. What are y'all doing? Stop. I think Maokai is just going to get Colin Strike. Stop. Don't bring... Don't bring the negativity. Are you kidding me? What are y'all doing? My chat is just bringing way too much negativity. Okay, but Maokai did create a sapling for me. One savage beast riding another. Is this the humor of your people? Strength and grace, beauty in the blade. Leaping into action. Born for conquest. No. Sacrifice this and draw two, I suppose. Seven mana here. If I didn't play this, I still wouldn't have the mana for Ruination anyway. Um, I do wish I had the mana for Maokai and Chevalier. Winter, take you. But I don't. The War Mother will unite us all. I would love for them to play something pre-combat. It's doubtful that they will, but I would love for them to play something pre-combat. Yeah, doubtful. Um. You have to get me out of here. An unfair fight for you. Gosh, this is me going to one. We have to kind of see if they if they did play like a Fury of the North, then we'd be able to respond with Vengeance. Um. And question, of course, is should I cast Ruination? Really want to. Nine mana next turn, looking like that and that. I don't have the, don't have the room for that and that. Corruption everywhere! We fight for one frail yard!
They are committing more to the board. I do like saying that. Probably never like Collector instead of Genevieve. Very glad that pumped up to a 3-2. I was hoping that was gonna happen. Only the finest serve. No. Um, Hold nothing back. Not the best. What did we catch? These woods belong to us. Fight me! I dare you! Lucky you! Wow. Some good challenger value. Some good challenger value. Show me a part. All right, so that's blocking there. Um, we'll block there, and do I want a four-two or a five-four? I guess a five, a four-two. Close my eyes, make it fair. Wow. We're not dead yet. We are not dead yet. You accepted what became of us. What was I supposed to do? It's 23 for Maokai. Uh, could be better. Could be better. Everyone's a god. Extra mana. All right, we got level up Maokai. I hope they play Trifarian Assessor. But yeah, our Neverglade Collector is going to have to do a lot of work for us. Give them room to spread their leaves. What does that do? Okay, so we have yeah I just don't I just don't have the room mm, I really need one more spot I really need yeah cause I really need one more spot um Demacian needs heroes Debate. 
ahead. That's true. We can just have Quinn die and that'll, that'll free up a slot. No, I wanted... So basically, I wanted to... I don't know. Yeah, like I... I wanted to be able to play like one of these five drops and also like I was I kind of wanted to go Swiftwing Lancer and Blighted Caretaker, um, but I didn't have the room for Lancer plus Caretaker. Do I even have the room for this? They will pay for what they did. All that matters now is the little ones. Okay. Challenge. 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 Come, come. This way. It doesn't matter about you. You don't matter. more difficult. Uh. I mean, that means they're not casting Decimate this turn. So that's kind of good. They're out there. Ah! I'll spot him. I thought that was going to be a 2 1 for a second. I was going to be happy. Yeah, maybe they cast Crystal Arrow and I, arrow and I get to Ruination. Swiftly now. I'm through waiting. I well, guess not. I guess I need to block with Neverglade Collector. Four cards left. We know one. You know, we we know they have decimate, decimate, um, and the crystal arrow. And so life springs anew. Let's go. Start with Crystal Arrow. Uh, I was hoping they would go Crystal Arrow there and then I would get to Lancer and kill Ash with Lancer. Um, 
You would think Ruination would be good in this matchup, but we, we honestly never had time to play Ruination. Like, if we ever did, they they had so much mana, so many cards. If we ever played Ruination, they would just come back and kill us. But this has been this has been super impressive for just us to get this far into this game, to be honest. Neverglade Collector has been super impressive. Down to two. We got one card left. What a draw. That vengeance is a great draw. Ruination doesn't work with Neverglade Collector. It dies, it, so it doesn't see these other things die, so I don't get to drain three times if I, like, if we cast Ruination. I th think we're going to win this. I, I think we're going to beat... Uh, what's that card? Like, Captain Farron... It was a 10-10 that created three decimates. And we were at, we were at what? We were at three and they created three decimates? Oh no. Maybe I started to speak too soon. It's all Fury of the North now. They have Fury of the North with Harsh Winds. GG's, I guess. No Fury? Continue without me. The signal they draw their last card for turn. Draw their last card. There we go. That's a W. Wow, what a game. What a game. What a clutch vengeance, top deck. What a game. That was an incredibly impressive win. Poor old Spooky Quinn. Wow. Yeah, they that was that was something else right there. Yeah, what a game. <laughs> he just got back, Tumble Dog? Oh man, you missed so much good that was such an incredible game. Yeah, we won. We actually won. It was crazy. They they even played you know, like, with that curve out and everything, um, and then they played, we were down to, like, three or something like that, and they played Captain Farron, three or four, and got three decimates, and just Neverglade Collector gained us enough, we got to gain enough life with Neverglade Collector to stay alive, barely. So, Vengeance is awesome in this matchup, but I think we just have to mulligan it from our opener, and kind of the same thing with Neverglade Collector. Glimpse Beyond will keep, I guess? Yeah, I think we keep Glimpse Beyond, but. Hey, what's up, pools? Yeah. Everything's going well. Thanks for stopping by, checking in. Yeah, it is. 
for me, it's better if y'all watch on YouTube than the Twitch VOD. It's better uh, for me. I get better ad. It's, it's. I mean, it's all ad revenue, but I get better ad revenue on YouTube. And then the, of course, the more YouTube views, then they, it's, you know, helps their al algorithms of spreading the videos and stuff. So yeah, the YouTube stuff. Better on there for sure. I don't. I don't think we just go blighted caretaker right now. We're going to be uh, block them glimpse beyond <laughs> squad. That's what we're going to be doing. Maybe I'm supposed to just block the dredgers and just kill it. But I mean, we got trips glimpse beyond. We got to get these things out of hand. That's a little bit of a bummer. I don't know, yeah, like this this was a donation this this was a viewer submitted donation deck, and that's the other thing. Y'all y'all submit some really sweet decks. Um I didn't think of this one. This was not I did not build this. Um But yeah, this has been working working well. It's been really cool. Um <laughs> That would be nice to play Maokai. Do I really need to play Caretaker right now? Like, probably not. Corruption everywhere. Yeah, Neverglade Collector greater than Captain Fair. Unexpectedly. So. Ooh, okay. Start collecting. Pay up. Or we play Quinn. Oh, I could just take four. Gain that life back. I like being able to have caretaker kill this spiderling. It'll be a bummer if they have withering whale. That'll be a bummer. Uh, I think I think you would die. Yeah, if if the overwhelm, if it's so like let's say we're at let's say they okay. So the question is if they have like eight eight Captain Farron, and I'm at seven and I block with a one one and I have Never Late Collector in play. So it will do seven overwhelm damage to us that would put us to zero, but then Never Late Collector would be able to drain. We still go to zero for that for that point before the Neverglade Collector drain happens. You, know, you have to wait for the thing to die first. And so we would go to zero and then it would drain and so we would lose the game. Going to zero. So I want to play Blighted Caretaker but that's not as good against Withering Whale. Let's play this Quinn and start leveling up Quinn also. Stay on the target. Ruination would be super rough. The only good thing about it would be Maokai would get six closer towards leveling up.
so pretty rough. But glad we didn't go caretaker. Valor! So of course I want to be able to attack twice for Quinn. And this is my only way to do it, to get an additional attack in for Quinn. Um, I would recommend checking out that page there from Mobilitics with, that has a ton of stats there. Uh, I believe Meister is looking for top tier decks. Check that one out. I'll give you a bunch of good stuff. It is me. Please calm yourselves. Level up Quinn gonna be just impossible. So Caretaker takes what two spots? It replaces something and then takes two spots. I don't have, but then with the Maokai, it's a third spot. I don't have that kind of room. I need to attack with Quinn first. And then play Caretaker afterwards. I mean, I kind of need to just level up Maokai. I guess that's more important than leveling up Quinn. Patience makes perfect. Maokai is 12 out of 25. So we're halfway there. Just like hunting thresher geese. <laughs> Quite a ways off. So I'm only debating on just using Mark of the Isles to kill the Quinn. It's kind of a bummer because I have to play a unit for Maokai, but my only unit to play is Blighty Caretaker, which has to kill one of these things, and I don't want to kill any of them. I guess it's... Gosh, I guess it's Neverglade Collector? I don't know, because Chevalier creates more units for me, so I can play more units. Which is important. Quinn will level up now. I've learned patience. I guess maybe it's Chevalier. I think I, I have to have units to level up Maokai, because without units I can't level up Maokai, so I just have so I have to keep Chevalier alive to give me another unit. And I think that and obviously I need to keep Maokai around, so that's not that's not an option. So we're looking at 
Neverglade or Quinn, and I think it's more valuable to have Quinn in play that's about to attack and put a Valor into play challenging and stuff like that. That's good. So we're at 18 out of 25. Oh, it's all scary. Every everything everything that they could possibly have in their deck is scary. <laughs> yeah, like it's all scary. Including Obliterate Fish. I cannot save Quinn. I am glad that they targeted... super scary. I can't I can't stop anything. Follow my lead. Maokai's at 20. You gotta hurry up, Maokai. Gosh, I needed I needed to obliterate their, their deck before they started drawing their champions, but they have to have drawn their champions by now, right? Had to have. So 20. So this will die as 21. I can make another ephemeral thing, so that's 22. Or let's see, if I make I can make Blighted Caretaker. And then I kill ca kill Blighted Caretaker. No. Darn. I figured out my only way to win. At least my what my line was doing. I know how to obliterate fish. Did want to obliterate their deck and then also then kill the Thorny Toad afterwards. Like, if we leveled up Maokai, we were gonna be good. Which I had a chance of doing right there. If they didn't have that, if they didn't have removal from Maokai, I could have with between fading memories and then also Mark of the Isles, my own thing. I could have leveled up Maokai this turn, and we actually like really we, we probably would have won if they wouldn't have killed Maokai right there. So I could have, this could have killed three things. Um. So as far as what to do now, I don't really have any any uh, good suggestions. I kind of got a bunch of nothing. These woods belong to us. Okay, 
Okay, I guess I I am deep. I can copy their devourer to kill something. The fading memories. Hey, what's up, Biz? Obliterate two more cards. Or toss two more cards. Okay, one. So they have two champions left for their last two. Alright, so that's the first Nautilus. Puts a few things back. They got three more sea monsters. Um, We got rid of one Nautilus. How do we deal with other Nautiluses? Well, that's not great. That ruins my whole Maokai plan, which was my plan. They used my plan against me. Kind of my plan. I needed to, to play a leveled up Maokai. Um, I don't have a plan anymore. Break their spirit and their soul. They have four. I have four, but they have they have two Nautiluses still, so they they get to loop Nautilus still. Just kind of had too many spells, not enough units. If we just had one more unit, you know, maybe I don't kill my... I kill the Chevalier and not the Neverglade Collector, and, you know, maybe that does something. Our best case scenario is playing for a tie. That's what we're trying to do here, is just play for a tie, if we can... If we can, if we can figure this out. Problem is... Problem, of course, is they're champions. Yeah, I, th I, I'm not sure. I don't remember if they have two Maokai's or one. I'm pretty sure they have two, and that's that's really a more of a problem. The Nautilus is actually the the two Maokai's. I will tend this garden. That thing burst, and it's just burst. 
Yep, that's the problem. So close. So close. If we had one more card. I can't get them to draw a card. We played some crazy games these last two. We played some crazy games. Man, that's only two and two. We've only played four games. Played... Man, this is the slowest deck. We played an hour and 12 minutes, which is usually... Which is more than a normal video. But I guess that's only... Is that our only our fourth game? I guess so. Alright, we're going to have a long video here. It's been some really inter... I mean, these last two games have been amazing. They've been super interesting. They've just been coming down to... Decking with Maokai. If only I had one more Maokai that game and could have played my other Maokai and, and milled them. That would have been great. These Mark of the Isles haven't looked so good. We've, we've kind of had too many spells. Not enough units. That egg? Did it move? I must get out of here! Okay, that's good. This land is ours. Leave nothing standing. I thing is, do I just pass? I think I. It, the greed is the greed line is the pass. That's the greed line. Nah, we won't go greed line. Everyone's a garden. Greed line is passed. They play something else. So we get another thing to challenge. Because now they just won't play anything else. And they'll wait for combat to happen. And then they'll play something after combat. Yeah, what's up, Alfred? Yeah, we've been playing some, some long games tonight. Yeah, because War Mother Lux, that was not a fast deck. Our, we have Spider Aggro up next. Spider Aggro will be... That'll be for those of y'all that like the, the faster games. Spider Aggro will be for you. So this is Mono Freljord. Seems a little weird, Mono Freljord, but maybe not. I don't know. Al Avaros and Outriders is pretty sweet. Take heart. Take heart. Card's good. I will tend this garden. Many hands, Malka. First we fight. Good luck. Have fun. Prom won't be the easiest to deal with. Well, it looks like we're going to be vengeancing. So I have to go Caretaker. If I go Collector, then I only have six mana next turn, so I don't have the mana to Vengeance Braum. Hey, new Loco. Welcome back, Nakano. Okay, I want to fading memories this light of caretaker before it goes away. So already eleven out of twenty five from Alkai. Yes. 
Nope. where we're at. If this Maokai dies, we got a backup. Backup Braum a little annoying. We could work towards Ruination. It's not the... It's not the worst line. I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to work towards Ruination, actually. So we're going to play Chevalier in the plan of Ruinating next turn. And keeping these things for after ruination, like those to go along with go where the war mother sap magic. You will remember not to you. Uh yeah. Rekindler. I could certainly see playing some rekindler in this deck. I mean you would you know, sometimes it bring back Quinn, not Maokai. Even, like, even when you want to bring back Maokai at times. Probably be like a one of, maybe. Come on in. Good times, good friends. What could be better? First we fight. Good luck. Have fun. Our ranks fill the valley. So I'm down to four. Down to one. Be gone, thief. Really? Come on. I, I don't get to stay alive from Fury of the North now. Man, they just don't have Fury of the North. Like, that's the only card that kills me. Uh, man, that's frustrating. And it's not like Maokai blocking something else would have been better. I mean, they could just Fury of the North, whatever. It's not blocked and stuff like that. Like, it wasn't... These, these all attacked for three at the time. It's not like... I mean, I guess because this had that, like, I guess I could have blocked that because of Take Heart, but last two cards being Take Heart and Fury of the North. Yeah, great draw. Not again. Great draw. Healing Maokai doesn't do anything. We are not blocking an Overwhelm unit. No, we can. If if we could stay at one, I would do it. But we couldn't stay at one. Um, Sad Magic should heal. Like, why does that heal yourself? Like, why? Shouldn't that just also let you gain three life? I don't know. Maybe it'd be too good at that point, I guess. I don't know. Um, yeah. Yeah, if we did... Yeah, if... If... Right. If I would have blocked the damage thing, then I could have survived with the help of Sap Magic and with the uh, one mana plus two plus two. You know, like, we could have gotten... We could have gotten enough health on Maokai, and I could have survived. But... Oh, so there's Spooky Quinn. A lot of fun to play. Uh, you know, super long games. Really grindy. Really interesting games. I do do feel like maybe we had a little bit too many spells. Like with units. You know, 22 spells, 18 units. And probably the spell that I liked the least was the Mark of the Isles. We did get to a couple of times use Mark of the Isles. Um, well, I mean, honestly, I guess besides... Like, I don't think Mark of the Isles should go. It is pretty nice with like all these saplings and stuff. Being able to use it to help kill some other things. Uh, basically, it's like a one one mana deal two damage kind of thing, um, but three vile feast, three withering whale. That that's a lot of both of those as we talked about. 
Um, I wouldn't mind just a, some other units, just a couple more units in here. I don't know exactly what. I don't know, like maybe Blinding Assault. Um, that doesn't trigger Maokai, though. Um, this was pretty interesting, though, as like a pretty interesting way to use Neverglade Collector with this kind of stuff. Would we want to play like one Dead Bloom Wanderer? You know, it has lifesteal, it costs three to help level up Maokai. Maybe. Um, I don't know. Like, th like there's like some things, you know, you could play, maybe play like one Thorny Toad. Um, cause like I wouldn't mind playing like two Mark of the Isles, two Vile Feast, two Withering Whale. Like, I think you can find three spots for, for units if you, you know, going with two with, with these things. I think I would like one, um, one Rekindler. I guess we were talking about maybe just playing like a Genevieve Elm Heart or a Swiftwing Lancer. But playing those games, our four and five mana slots were really full. Like Chevalier, Maokai, Collector, Quinn. Those were all super important, four and five. And we honestly, like what we were struggling with is we didn't really have one, two, three too much. And so like that's where I'd kind of focus is playing some more one, two, three. And maybe that's Protégé. Maybe... Maybe play some Protégé in there. Um, Protégé is a great card. Uh, you know, you could, could go with the War Chefs to help pump up some of the other things. Um, I don't know, Soul Shepherd, granting things, making things bigger. Stirred Spirits, uh, supporting your things that are dying anyway. Like, Stirred Spirits basically gives you more Mark of the Isles each time you support um, all of these challengers that are going to die. But then, then, of course, like these kind of cards are like really super easy to block as well um dawn speakers i don't think dawn speakers because dawn speakers doesn't help like it just helps like your maokai grow but it doesn't help like all of your new challengers that you're going to have the next turn and it also like having like the six spots ha being open was kind of difficult right so it, it just clogs up it clogs up your board more and when you're already playing Maokai that clogs the board and Neverglade Collector that clogs the board, I don't think, you, like, we really just don't have room for Dawn Speakers as well. It's just so much stuff clogging the board. And so, yeah, maybe, maybe like a 3-2 th Lifesteal. I know, like, these are just cards to try. 3-2 Lifesteal, War Chefs, pumping things up, Stirred Spirits, um, you know, also pumping things up. Like, those, those could be cards to try. Those are just, like, some ideas. Um, you know, obviously Protégé could be okay too, but it does seem like two mana is the spot that like maybe we need some more two drops with Caretaker at three. I don't know what to do. I, I kind of just want to add in a few more things over a Mark, a Vile Feast, and a Withering Whale. Um, but exactly what those things are, I don't, I don't know. Um, yeah. All right, but there we go. That's Spooky Quinn. Those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there and uh, leave those comments. Let me know what you thought of this deck. If you, you know, like, what'd you think of it? Were you, you know, did you enjoy it? Were you impressed by it? I really hope you watch that, the the third game, the game against Frostbite Midrange. I really hope you watch that whole game. That game was super crazy. But we'll get out of here. We'll get to our next deck. Thank you so much for watching some Spooky Quinn and I'll see you for the next video.